Welcome back guys. Today we are getting some new fish to put in our most recent tank that we set up. So if you saw that video, then you already know what this is, but just in case you haven't, I'll put a link for it in the description. We set up this brand new Current USA 13 gallon Serene tank. It comes with the Serene Sun Pro LED. It also comes with the backlight. We have it on the daytime sort of mode, so it goes through a full day and it changes the background color. It's kind of cool. You can have it static as well, but we just control it with our little remote down there. Everything in this tank is ready to go. We still have a little bit of cloudy water, and I think that's in part because we had a little bit of a bacterial film on this thing. So nothing super surprising for a new aquarium. We just hit it with a little hydrogen peroxide, and that helps helps to get rid of the problem. So a lot of that is in part because we don't have crazy water movement. We decided to put an HOB filter on here and I think we're gonna continue to run it, let this thing go through its cycle. Hopefully it will resolve itself, but if it doesn't, we can always switch it up and put a little canister on here to get a little bit more movement and help resolve that issue. Regardless of that though, the aquarium is safe and ready to go. Just did a little nitrogen check and everything is in the clear. And we were able to accomplish that with the help of the Fritz nitrifying bacteria that we put in this thing, followed up by a little fish food here and there over the last few days. So we're all ready to go. Our environment is safe for fish. We just have to go and pick them out. If this little setup is something that you're interested, you can buy this kit at CurrentUSA.com. I'll have a link for it in the description, as well as a promo code AquaPros. It'll get you 15% off. hair looks good. I have a mustache. Yeah, your mustache looks good. <laughs> Guys, we're back at Pisces Aquaria. We're going to pick out some fish, uh, but I want Andrew to give me a little quick store tour here. Just real quick, man. So yeah. let's, uh, let's check it out. We walk in, buddy. We got a little empty display here. This is an ADA 120P. It's going to get set up soon. It's about 75 gallons, and I'm going to set it up nature style with a bunch of plants and little fish. Nice. Yeah, I see. Hardscape is not for sale yes. because... <laughs> you need that thing. Yeah. All right, so we spin around here. Ashley's over at the counter. <laughs> we got, oh, there's a ton of stuff. Okay, let's focus here. So another display. This is a UNS 90U. It's like 70 gallons. This one we set up here. So it's like two months old and it's looking pretty good right now. Yeah, it looks beautiful, man. Uh, over here we have all our tanks that you can get. We got some UNS tanks and some ADA tanks right now. We also have our CO2 equipment and our fertilizers on this side of the store. Perfect. As well as like these plushies, which are pretty cool. Yeah, those are sweet. And then we spin around here and we got all the hardscape. Here's we got design area. Here hardscape in the middle. Hardscape box for playing in the sand, making making your wood and rocks look good before you take them home. Gotta do that, gotta Curated do that. Curated selection, we got spider wood, we got some of the classics, some serious stone, but we also have like Frodo stone and this North Black stone, elephant skin. A lot of the nice aquascaping rocks. These are pretty cool. We got some bonsai trees. You know? Oh yeah. Some I'm handcrafted I'm familiar trees. With those. You know about those? I'm familiar yeah. with those. And then we got all the equipment. We got equipment. all the equipment on this side. Specifically Seachem and Awaze stuff mostly. Some Dimax things. We have a nice selection of Planet Tank and Aquascaping books as well, which is kind of unique for a fish store. Yeah, I like that. We're more of a Planet Tank store, so we got some media for you guys as well. Of course, you got the stickers. We showed those last time. It, it's it's going to be a Saturday again. We're doing another, I mean, we're doing a holo promo. I think I'm yeah, going to go ahead and pick it this time. That's a good one. We'll do that. So any sticker order you guys place, That's you'll get... Favorite. A hollow red racer snail sticker and so that means you got to give that out to everybody who buys okay. a sticker this weekend okay. from the store Andrew good. let's see we come in here and we got all the tanks one thing that I really love about this is that you maintain like the nature style you got the rimless mm -hmm. tanks I mean just that that's what I mean it's by maintaining yeah. that style so yeah. plants wood sand and good lighting and good tanks so the fish look nice you know looks super good and we don't need a lot of tanks because we rotate our selection out and we keep lots of cool cool little fish so you know someone buys a whole school of those rum we can put something else in there that's pretty cool yeah it looks really good man and then we spin over here we got yeah, you got the beta collection like betas right now so i've already kind of gone through here and looked at all of these but uh and this, this is that one our little favorite you like one that one this color color is really nice He's yeah being weird, though. i like the dragon scale the dragon scale is beautiful 
half our fish room is actually a shrimp room. So we have some locally bred shrimp from Shrimp Envy up there, our Caradina species. Then we have new Caradinas that we bring in, and we have uh, ten colors if I if I if I'm right there. Got your cherries, you got your orange, your yellow. Those are red pintos and blue bolts mixed together. The cool thing about those is when they breed, they just make more of the same colors, even though they're mixing, which is interesting. Very nice. Yeah. We came here for some fish, Andrew, and we talked about these last time. So, you, uh, we, I mean, we were talking about dwarf cichlids, and you hit me with the, you know, the Guy Fieri style, and I was like, wait, which one is that? And then it was so obvious that it would be this guy. Guy Fieri fish, man. <laughs> so I think uh, I think we're gonna have to do. Some of these, I, we're gonna have to do them, man. I think we're gonna have to do there's, them. There's definitely a pair. They've been hanging out back here. This is the boy and the girl's back there defending her little cave against this other girl right now. I think that pair you should just take home and let them be the kings of the castle in your little tank that you made. I think so, man. That'll be perfect. I think so. guys so guy fieri is chilling over here fieri or fieri i don't know how to say that but anyway you know what i mean our pistols are in the tank we got that breeding pair and the female was here in the middle hanging out doing her thing starting to get you know acquainted with the new tank there's a little cave form in the back behind this piece of dragonstone i think i tried to show that to you so that should be beneficial for them they're going to appreciate that let's take a look at some of the other things that we got while we were at the store, so I decided to pick up some tissue cultures. So we got some ADA uh, Japan Clover Hydrocodal. We got three of those. Let's see if we can find, yep, all three. And we also got some hair grass. So I got two tissue cultures of that for a new little tank we're gonna set up. And then Andrew hooked me up with some super rare moss. This is what it's called, hooker moss. There is the genus or the species name, can't quite remember. I think what we're gonna do is use all of these in a new tank with some other stuff, of course. So I think the goal with this tank is to get these two to breed. I think that would be pretty cool. Uh, hopefully they're still in love with each other and they're still paired up even though they left their uh, perfectly good little home at Pisces. I think they're gonna like this place though. This is a pretty good uh, step up at least. You know, it's not like they're moving into a studio. It's more of like a three bedroom apartment. It's certainly not a big house, but I think they'll be happy with it. So the female is right in the middle there. Sorry, I don't have my zoom lens on, so we can't get any closer, but she's just a little less colorful. She doesn't have the Guy Fieri haircut going on like this dude does, but still an impressive looking fish. I think these guys are gonna be fun to watch. We're back out at the tank the next day, guys. Everything is looking good. The fish are getting acquainted with their new place, and I just wanted to say that this guy definitely drives a Lambo, you know what I mean? His coloration is really good, and I know it's just gonna get better, so I'm really excited to see that. We got the female kind of hiding in down there in between the stones there as they wiggle around the ferns. I think, you know, it's only a matter of time before they find this spot underneath the rock, but it looks like they're just taking their time investigating the area and finding out where they're most comfortable. He's coming down to say hi to me. 
What's up, guy? Look at those colors, man. Just so awesome. The yellow underneath them, too, is also pretty bright. You know, the camera doesn't do it justice. Overall, I'm pretty happy with this choice. We'll see how much they decide they want to be out in front of the tank. That would be nice because then we could see them more. You know, hopefully they're not hiding in the back all the time. But time will tell, guys. I think that's pretty much going to do it for this video. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check the sticker store and get that free Nearite Snail holographic sticker if that's what you're into. Thanks once again, and we'll see you next time.